Hello, today's devotional can be found in Job chapter 29, verse 13. The blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. Alright, so here's the thing. When we're at our lowest point, and we give it all to God, and we think he's just going to simply take us away, He's going to stop and say no. Most likely he's going to stop and say no. He's going to say your time is not yet over. Don't despair. Life has been hard, but you're not done. You've got more in you, and I'll give you more. That you might be able to feel my love and have the strength to go on. Because we all get to points where we are just physically and emotionally exhausted, right? Life is very, very hard. Life can be very brutal to us. And sometimes we get to a point where we feel like we have nothing left. And so we wonder how we are going to go on. And so the Lord blesses us when we are ready. And when we feel like we have no or else to turn, no energy left to go on, no strength to do what he wishes for us to do, he blesses us and he lightens our heart and he reminds us of what we still have even after all that we've still lost. He reminds us that we're children of God and capable and worthy of his love. We are capable and worthy of receiving his love. We are capable and worthy of being loved by him. And Christ's strength from the atonement, God's love and Christ's strength, can help us sing for joy even in the hardest of times. And that is the great blessing that can be found in trials. We can draw upon the strength of Jesus Christ and the love of God that we might be able to endure all things. And we should not forsake that. Because it can truly help us if we let it. Satan's power will do nothing for us but make us miserable. But the grace of God is that we can find joy in trials through his strength and love. And the grace of Jesus Christ is we can access that strength at any time. And there aren't prerequisites. All we have to do is ask. And it shall be given us. And that's the grace of the Lord. No conditions. Just pure, unconditional love and compassion upon our soul. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.